Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on the module called Automated Polymorph uh, for Foundry Virtual Table Lab. Uh, so we're going to jump right in. I have two characters uh, tokens out here on the map. The top one already has some transformations kind of configured, and the bottom one uh, is blank. So we'll go through the whole process on this one, and this one I'm just going to show you real quick what it looks like. Uh, so if I right click on my character, I'm going to see this icon right over here. That is the module icon. Uh, and you'll see it in your character sheet up at the top here as well. It doesn't matter which way you, you use it uh, as long as you can see the button. Um, so if I left click this, it's going to open up this menu. Uh, and if I left click it from the character sheet, it'll open up the same menu. Um, ignore these buttons for now. We'll get into that a little bit later, the random and order buttons. Uh, so this character already has some actors assigned that it can tra transform into. Uh, so if I wanted to actually transform into one of these, I'm just going to left click on it and then select the spell that I want to use or select custom settings where you can adjust these settings up top. Uh, so I'm just going to select polymorph and you can see the animation occurred and it transformed my token into the other token. If I look at this character sheet, this is the base stats for the doppelganger that I transformed. And if I open up the doppelganger now, you can see the stat block has changed. The attacks and stuff have changed in here. If there were spells associated with it, they would change as well. Um, so if I don't want to, or if I want to revert back to my original form, I can double or left click on this double arrow up here. And that'll revert back. You can see my stat block has now changed back uh, and my token has changed back as well. Uh, so it's pretty slick. Uh, it's easy to configure, easy to set up. Uh, and easy to use. So let's start from scratch down here on this guy and throw in some transformations. All right. So we will, you can either right click again or you can open up the character sheet. When you don't have anything assigned to the module yet, when you right click, that menu doesn't appear. So the initial configuration, you're going to have to go through the character sheet, you know, open it up, and let's drag over a couple mobs. We'll throw in. Him. And then I'm going to pull in a large creature, an owlbear. Uh, I'll link to that module I was just using. It's called Quick Insert, to, uh, which is the greatest thing ever. Um, anyway, back to this. So we have two different actors assigned now that we can now t uh, transform into. Um, and first thing we'll want to do is just set them up. So this column right here, the center column, uh, you can assign a different animation, uh, and there's just some default animations in here. Uh, so we'll select a couple random ones in there, and then we're going to want to assign the spell type. Uh, so we'll select, let's just do polymorph and wild shape there. Uh, let's look at what wild shape does. So it, for a token that's either larger or smaller. So the owlbear is a large size mob, so it should increase our token size. So again, to transform, we're going to left click on the owlbear icon. We'll select wild shape since that's what we want to do. And you can see the token size changed as well as the image. And if we open up our character sheet, the attributes, features, and if there were spells, spells would have changed as well. So let's revert there with the double arrows. Uh, and now since we have actors assigned, we can right click on our character. And in the quick access menu here, we then have the module icon. So you can left click that to open up the menu. And uh, if we wanted to transform into the guy, we can just like polymorph for appearance only or whatever. And we'd have the different animation for him. And now we're that person. So from the quick access menu, the right click, you can right click that icon since it's there. And that will also remove uh, the effects. So pretty it's pretty awesome I, I love it um if you want to mess with the random or ordered configuration uh you can again go in through that menu uh let's try random first so this this can be handy if you have say like a druid that pretty much always shifts into the same thing let's say they shift into an owl bear repeatedly so we can just have just the owl bear on here you can have whatever effect you want um and this, in this case, you have to have the spell assigned over here. If you're going to use random or ordered, you have to have the spell assigned, or when it goes to transform you into that particular mob in the list, it will throw you an error and say it's not going to work because it doesn't know what to do. 
All right, so now we have it set to random. We have wild shape assigned. We have our owl bear. We're going to select our owl bear wild shape. All right, we tested that it worked. So now let's unshift, let's right click. Uh, and the cool part about assigning random and or ordered is that now we don't have to go through that menu. So I did it that time just because we were already there. But if we right click on this character and now just left click on the icon, now it'll just do the shift automatically without having to go and select those two buttons. So it makes it a lot quicker. Uh, again, the caveat is that if you're trying to shift into like 15 different things and you want to do them not in that ordered list or not totally randomly, then you're just going to have to go through the list, uh, which doesn't take very long, so it's not a big deal. All right, so, uh, so let's revert here and we'll experiment with ordered. So we'll right click on that. We'll open up the menu again. And let's throw in two more mobs. Let's throw in mobs that don't look almost identical. All right. So now we have a couple mobs in there. We're going to assign some spell types to them. Let's just do polymorph. Um, and we'll throw in a different animation. OK, so now we'll unselect random. We'll select ordered. You can't have both of those selected, or it won't work. Uh, and now we will close. And when we left click this icon, it should, OK, it started with Owlbear. That was the first one on the list. Second one on the list was that lady, so it went to her. And third in the list was that guy, so it went to him. If we try and do it again, it will start from the beginning. And just keep on going. So that's how the ordered list works. Uh, if you find a way to utilize that, I, I am not feeling super creative and can't think of a reason why I would want to use that. Uh, but it is available for you. Uh, and to remove the animation, again, you just right click on that uh, and you are back to square one. So uh, that's pretty much everything. Uh, I guess there's one more thing. So let's open up that, up that menu. Oops. Uh, that was the custom configuration. So um, if you wanted to actually use these custom effects up here, uh, like say you want to keep all your original stats, uh, but remove some other things or, or whatever, or you want to keep certain things of their original character, but merge other things, uh, you can do that. You just have to select the appropriate option from these boxes. Uh, and then to trans when you transform, you just want to make sure you click this custom settings button. And then it'll do that tra custom tra or that transformation. And when you open up the character sheet, so this time I, kept, I selected keep my own character stats or the original character stats. So you can see I still have the doppelganger stat block in here. I still have the doppelganger's attacks uh, uh, instead of having that owl bears information. So you can do that stuff. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. You just have to read through the options and select the things that you want. Uh, so that's it, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you like the video, feel free to like it. Uh, I'll be putting out a bunch more uh, basic module uh, tutorials on here because I've just been learning Foundry and I ran into a lot of... <laughs> issues. I've spent a lot of time troubleshooting and i just here to help you guys out. So uh, yeah, if you like it, like it. And if not, no worries. You guys have a good day.